Hello, this is the Bright Side channel. We are now a podcast, so you can watch the videos as well as listen to us uh, on uh, uh, and on the channel. Uh, we have with us uh, a, a author that we we love, and she's been with us several times. And she's actually written four books. I didn't know that she had four books, but this is awesome. And thank you for sending me the screen share. I got it on Facebook, so thank you for that. Um, so since it's Father's Day, Father, then thy eyes can see. And I've read this book and cried, and it's just just a great book to read. Uh, so over to you, Delanda, and tell us all about the books and uh, tell us all about you. Hello, everyone. Again, as um, Elizabeth stated, I am Delanda McNair. I am the author of Father, Then the Eyes Can See, and You Taught Me. I did a collaborative work with Dear Daughter and the Daily Journal of I Am Beautiful. The story, um, as it relates to Father, Then the Eyes Can See, make a long story short, God decided to visit me in a dream one night after a conversation with my younger sister. And years later, it all folded into the book. Um, he gave me 10 titles. I am really behind because at the time I was a flight attendant living in, living in Miami, Florida. And I all I saw was my wings, my out my uniform and the plane. Like that's, that's all I saw. But God was like, okay. <laughs> and so two years later, some things happened in my family. I realized I was too far from home and that whole journey turned into something else. But make a long story short, going back to the books, basically he gave, God gave me the opportunity to share in my writings, a colorful journey along the trial of forgiveness. And basically we will all find ourselves either on the side of needing to extend forgiveness or wanting to receive it and it's our choice it's our decision but of course it's always going to be in your best benefit to ex choose to extend forgiveness and sometimes it may not be the easiest thing to do so in the book with father than the eyes can see a young lady made a decision that she thought in that moment was the best decision for her sister and it wasn't. And of course, after she made the decision, which she now can't take back, that's where the read journey begins. She goes on the journey of trying to figure out not how can I fix this because there was no fix into this um, now. But all she the only thing she could do was do what she can to reveal the truth and make it better. Um, so at the end of the day, day, again, farther than the eyes can see, it is a blessing of a read because it takes you along the healing journey of forgiveness, redemption, um, redemption, uh, redemption, second chances and love, the love of man, the love of God. And at the end of the day, uh, well, not at the end of the day, period. We all want to be loved. We all want to be welcomed, embraced and received. And why would you let the lack of unforgiveness stand in the way of you being able to open and openly receive that or been in the way, stand in the way of someone wanting to extend it to you? So choose forgiveness, decide to forgive and don't look at the art, the, um, the hurt, the pain, the disappointment and, uh, and stop there and let that be justifiable enough for you to not to decide to forgive because for whatever reason and in regards to how crazy that it is in that moment when that person chose to do that either they were totally off or either they really believed that was the right thing for them to do so it could also be that one day you may find yourself making a decision that after the fact you realize what was I thinking because in that moment, you were not thinking correctly enough to have made a better decision. It can happen to anyone. So yes, Father Than the Eyes Can See is the first book. And You Taught Me is the follow-up. And the, it is the journey of forgiveness. Are you going to decide to extend and receive forgiveness? Because even with yourself, 
sometimes we need to look ourselves in the mirror and say, okay, that thing that we did or said or didn't do or say, um, I apologize to you and say your name because we fall short of ourselves sometimes too. So the, my books can be purchased. You can order it from Amazon. You can connect with me on Facebook. And if you look at my background, my information is here. But if you can't see it, it is basically my first and last name. Delanda McNair is on Instagram. It is author Delanda McNair on Facebook. And if you take my book title, you take my name, your favorite bookstore, just give them a call and ask them to order your book for you. You can get it that way, or you can contact me and get your autograph copy. I'll be more than happy to do that for you. And if and this is the month of my birthday. So um, if you're not a reader, you can um, buy the book and bless someone else with it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. When is your birthday? When is your <laughs> birthday? My birthday is coming up Thursday. It's June oh, 22nd. Okay. Oh, it's Thursday. My, my birthday, birthday coming up? Yeah, I do. <laughs> my birthday is June 30th, next Friday. Okay. Well, happy <laughs> birthday. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, and Daryl's birthday, too. So okay, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be 28, Lord willing. Okay. Wow, you Very baby. Daryl, you got a birthday? I know. <laughs> when is Daryl's birthday? Oh, okay. So, I, I, celebrate, I celebrated my 50th, June 13th. Oh, very good. Oh, man. Yeah, It'll be 52 let's, for me. Yeah. Let, <laughs> let's take this moment and just issue Let me stop warm recording. feelings and, uh, and caring thoughts. Happy birthday. And you're birthday. watching Bright Side uh, channel. Uh, we're going to sing happy birthday. All right. Hold on. Let me, um, let me get you all into... Um, uh, Y'all better 